Greetings, my fellow lovers of tunes, and welcome back to another Adam Chance reaction video here on the channel, where we enjoy the music, of course. Now, I'm very excited for today's video, as I am for probably all of the videos, but especially this one. It's been a while since we had a Adam Chance solo song. It's so incredible to see. I love when groups, no matter who they are, like embrace their solo work a little bit as well. We get to learn like get to know them a little bit more on their personal level and see what they are capable of like in their own capacity as well so i'm very excited for this one it's called ancient history and just by looking at the video like the first screen you can see sammy had a hand in like the editing and this, those type of things of the video i might be wrong but it looks like it so i'm very excited to see how that turned out as well and also, I do not know this song, so I have a feeling, I haven't looked yet, but I think this is an original from Adam Chance, which is very exciting. He is such a talented writer as well, so I'm very excited to see what the song is all about, to hear how it's constructed, compiled, and just uh, like the editing as well, everything all together. So let's get into it, and then we will discuss it afterwards, as always. Lessons are just learn the hard way growing up and making mistakes, hoping to get it right as you go. So the story goes, and every time I learned a lesson, life had put me on my ass, and then I'd walk away feeling like I knew. Ancient history 
You know, <laughs> I, I think it's every time that I listen to Chance, like the way that he can take a video, because this is one of the longer videos, you know, like a five, five and a half minutes, come on, take, like give or take. <clears throat> You know, I I was completely lost in that song. Like, I did not realize that this video was five and a half minutes long, which is on the longer side when it comes to, like, singles like this. But it felt so short. It felt like I was in a different time, like in a time capsule almost, when he was singing that song. And I thought, wait, why is the song so short? And I realized, but it wasn't. And that's the magic that Adam has when he does these songs when he sings he he t takes you in on a journey with him and it's such an incredible song so beautifully written and i really want to like touch a little bit on the song itself but i firstly want to say that his vocals are absolutely phenomenal i've said this time and time again and i will keep on saying it that his vo vocals are so velvety smooth he has such an incredible voice um i i'm so happy that we got to see more of like his range in this one like his higher register in this and you can really hear the passion that he has in the song and the the emotion that he puts into it he does it so so very well we got to we get we got a little guitar solo in there as well which is absolutely phenomenal the video editing and i i'm pretty sure i'm right sammy did an incredible job with this i was a little bit confused in the beginning i was like wait this you could see that it was like taken on i don't know if they're using an older camera or if it's like filters but it really sets the mood so well with like you can hear the wind like through through the camera and then him playing the notes on the piano like that old weather piano it really sounded absolutely incredible but it it instantly took me back to my childhood you know like when when you had those home homemade videos where you're on a trip and you you can see like when you look back at it you can hear the wind so clearly technology has grown so much that it almost like takes it away automatically but it, it really set the mood and the tone for the song so well and that's why i want to touch on it as well like i i only give my perspective of this of the song i have no idea what the the real reasoning or the message was behind this but what i got out of this one was so so beautiful and it really made me think and it, it's probably going to sit with me for quite a while because songs like this often do it really makes you go within your own mind and really explore all the different things that this song could be about and what it like addresses now i'm going to try and summarize it as like as condensedly as possible if that's even a word um it's it's beautiful i love the way that he wrote the song and it, it took me back you know like I, I love the fact that they had all these different elements in the video like the old cars and the broken things like everything in this world has a history and it's oftentimes it could be remembered within stories and books and songs and stuff like that but oftentimes it's just forgotten like it's lost to time if that makes any sense like it's especially so well brought out in this like i oftentimes think when i see something especially when it's from a different era or something along the lines of that i i try and envision myself how life would have been or what life was like or what the peak moment of this item's time was like thinking of that car that he's sitting in the the places it ha must have gone to the families it must have been transporting you know it takes you back in time and really makes you think of the quality of life it was in and how it was treated and then when the owners or whatever the case is whatever happens to these things whenever it's left or abandoned then time takes a toll it takes its toll rust becomes like comes into the car like the windows shatter from all the different elements from nature and stuff like that but it's so incredible that you can choose to go back in history and learn from others mistakes and their stories and their lifetimes and learn from their wisdom or we can choose to ignore it and think that we want to or like some people would say that they want to experience it for themselves and not be dictated or like told what is wrong and right but i think it is so interesting to go back in time and really 
experience what they've gone through. I think it gives you a whole different perspective in life and makes you realize that, I, in my opinion, that quality of life is not the same that it was many years ago. Like, I wouldn't even say many years ago, let's say 20, 30 years ago and longer. Like, it's not the same. We have become so, like, I, I, I want to say controlled in the sense of we get told what to do, when to do it, like how to do it. The, we are so distracted by screens and I know it might sound hypocritical, especially from me, a person doing this as a quote unquote job. Um, but it is, it's so, it's so wonderful to think that many years ago, we didn't have all these distractions. We didn't have all this technology and there's so much good that technology brought into the world as well. I'm not saying that at all, but I oftentimes think if I were to live in like earlier years, the fifties, the sixties, maybe even earlier than that, how much different life would have been, how much more grateful you would have been for the things that you had and the things you didn't have, how much more interactions you would have had with other people, the stories that you would have been able to tell stuff like that. Nowadays, it's so easy to spend weeks on end in one room because everything you have or want or need is in your hand. You can do so many different things with the cell phone. It, it's incredible. It's just it, it makes you think and it's such a beautiful song um, that he wrote and he delivered it so well and everything. And I, it, it might not even be what the song is about, but it really took me back and made me think about all these things that that you have like i oftentimes think that things that i receive from other family members or when someone passes that what this item has gone through what did it see what what did it experience i know it sounds like i'm personifying the item but you understand what i'm saying where it's been what what was it used for like oftentimes i find like old antique things and i have no idea what it was used for like stuff like that you know i think it's very interesting beautiful song i want i don't want to ramble on too long but absolutely incredible his voice was absolutely fantastic beautifully written the editing was absolutely amazing the visuals was amazing i think everything was just so well put together and that's what i really love about how chance and sammy tackles these things they really put so much attention to detail on it and it's so simplistic in the way, and I'm not saying it's simplistic the way that they did it, but it comes across so simplistic, yet so impactful as well. I'm sure there's a lot of time and effort that goes into these things that I don't even know about, but it's incredible to to see it and hear it, and it's a beautiful song. I'm definitely going to go listen to it again and reminisce on things that I probably don't even know that I'm missing absolutely phenomenal but i would love to hear from you guys what are your thoughts on this one what did you think about this song and i for one can i just say that it is criminal the amount of views that this video has it only has 3600 views as of recording this which is just criminal it really is criminal that something like this is not heard by more people and experienced by more people because not only do you have such an incredible original song but adam is such a beautiful writer everything about this song deserves to be heard far more than it is so if you are hearing this through me maybe for the first time go to the original video share it with family and friends and make sure it gets like like spread the message out there absolutely phenomenal absolutely amazing but in any case i'm gonna leave this one here i hope you guys are staying safe having a fantastic day remember to check up on one another and i'll see you in the next video whichever that might be but until then remember music is medicine